Uh, are we ready to take a call? Mm -hmm. okay. Are you ready to take a call? I think I asking? am. Are you okay? Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, put you over with Justin from Madisonville, Kentucky. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, you? Justin? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Uh, my question is about uh, spam Chris. on the internet. Um, from, uh, from my email, I mean. Hello? Chris. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry 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 i Set. Background. And action. Much, much, sorry. <laughs> Reset. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Much gusto. <laughs> <laughs> Mary. $720. $720. All our bids are locked in. Good luck to you all. Our prize, $799. Mary wins. <laughs> A South Africa man is counting his blessings and his teeth after escaping from a python attack. Lucas Sabanda claims the giant snake attacked him as he was walking along a remote path near his home. He fought back, and the only way that he could fight back was by biting the snake just below its head until the snake released him. Sabanda then killed the reptile with a sharp stick and took it home with him. He is now quite busy. <laughs> Showing off the massive snake and the carcass. Oh. <laughs> Pythons, which suffocate their prey by constricting their bodies around them, have been known to attack antelope, but attacks on humans are extremely rare. Oh. 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 O